I'm a fully self-sufficient man. Any more than you should be waiting for me to be a fully self-sufficient woman. That reminds me of the TikTok earlier in the summer when they were like, you know, the potential needs to already be potential. If you are actively pursuing me, you should not be actively pursuing employment, housing, healing for your mommy issues, any of those things. You need to come to me with those things already worked out, figured out, and you're headed in a direction, or at least you have a good idea of what direction you're headed in. Scratch that. Not an idea. You need to already be actively moving in that direction. Another reason why I feel like a woman should never wait for a man to get his shit together is because that man will literally grow to resent you. We have seen that in so many situations where the man resents the woman who really held them down. I feel like a lot of times the man resents the woman who held him down because that woman knows that he did not get to where he is today without her help. And a man, he wants to be able to take the man that you helped make him into and go be a brand new man for a brand new woman who only knows him for face value. She only knows him as the fully completed project standing in front of her versus the woman who held you down. She knows everything that took into making you who you are and the vital role that she played in helping you get there. So a lot of men, they grow to resent you for that because they want the woman who just views them as the completed project, the man who got all his shit together. And they don't want that constant reminder of the woman who held him down that, hey, I had some part in the man that you became. So it really comes down to the fact that men want to be seen for the man that you help make them into. They don't want to be reminded of the low level, whatever, whatever that they came from. That's why I say at the end of the day, do not hold a man down. Do not be there waiting for him to be potential. He either has it or he doesn't. Y'all, so I seen a TikTok where a girl... So before how- um before I start breaking this down, I want y'all to look at this woman. Before I break this down, I want y'all to look at this woman. I want y'all to stare hard at this woman. Focus, guys. Focus. I want y'all to work with me. Focus. Look at her face. Hold that image. Look at her face. I know that she got makeup on. I know she got, but I want y'all to hold the image. And I'm gonna go back and forth with me. Just go back and forth with me, guys. Now. I'm going to show you what she looked like with our makeup. Before I break this video down, I'm going to show you. Because I just want you to understand how women hate liars, but the first thing they do to us is lie to us. The first thing they do is lie to us. So I want you to understand. This is the face. Look at her face. Look what it looks like. Hold on hold on to that image. Now, now here we go. Walk with me, Rad. Walk with me. That's her face. That's her real face, guys. Now, I want you all to... Look at this woman right here. And this is what you wake up to here. I want y'all to try to make sense of that. This is what you see when you go on a date. This is what you will wake up to. I want y'all to make sense of that. When when women sit here and say, we hate liars. I put it on everything, guys. I'm going to start exposing them. I'll be damned before they keep doing this to us. This is what you will see if you walked out the house with a woman. You're sitting across. You're like going on this date. Okay. Social media is showing me this. When you sit up after y'all messed around and when she said, let me go wash the shower and stuff, this is who you'll wake up to. This is the exact same woman. Exact same woman, guys. This is not her sister, some crazy. This is the exact same woman. So you have to understand that you are witnessing this person right here on a date. And you will wake up to this person right here the next day. Women lie to us the minute we make eye contact. The minute we make eye contact, we don't have the choice because if I seen her, I wouldn't even approach if you seen her, you'll be like, okay, she's not, she's, you know, she's, she looks, you know, she's good looking. Like she's not bad at all. To go from this to this, I would even make eye contact. I will keep walking. But the the whole mindset is that the delusion that would be like, oh, is this, she don't look that much different. It went from an attractive woman to Michael Jackson in Thriller. It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. And we have to understand this is reality. So when women talk about, I hate liars, I hate liars, is not, this is crazy. This is crazy, guys. This is crazy. Same woman. <sighs> What's good, um, Dead Pill? What's good, my guy? But yeah, guys, it's, it's, I, I just before I break down the video, I want to show y'all that because I was looking at her pictures and stuff. And I was just like, man, what, what is this? And I kept staring at it. And I'm like, I got to start exposing them. 
they say they hate liars and stuff like this. But then as soon as I went to her page, I was like, I had to pause. I was like, who is this? And I have, there was more video that was worse than this. That's the funny thing. And I was like, who is this? And I had to pause. And I'm like, it can't be the same woman. Before we, before we even engage in conversation, we men are visual. You will see her. You'll be like, hey, can I get your number? And then one day you'll see her walk by and be like, um, hey, you, I, I, I never spoke to you. Like, Get away from me. Uh, no, nah, I gave you my number yesterday. Oh, who are you? The girl from the car. Nah, 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 nah. I see you IG. That's not what you look like. Th this is two different people. I don't care nobody said. These individuals are two. This is, here's the funny thing. This is not a filter video. This video is not filtered. That's her with makeup on. This is her natural face. Makeup. No makeup. Work with me, guys. And then when she told us we're going to build together, we ain't building nothing. We ain't building nothing. You already come in lying. We, a man would never resent a woman that supported him throughout his grind and stuff like that because, you know, other women won't do it. I don't know why women think that we're going to sit here. This is what women understand. We, I, I'm not going to I'm not going to say we should do this, but I'm going to say what it is. When guys get a lot of money, most of the time, I'm going to say most of the time, what they do is that they get a side piece when they become successful or they mess around with some other chicks because they got the resources. But they still treat the main chick like the main chick. You get all the resources. You get all the benefits. The side piece never be seen. But if you go search for the side piece as a woman, you will find the side piece. Y'all sit here and see, make it seem like we men going to sit here. Think about it. This is how we think about it. When, when a man is broke, right? Listen to this. When a man is broke, right? Or we, we let's say, I'm, I'm going to say bro. Let's say a middle class man, right? Middle class man. When you're dating and stuff like that. When you cheat on your girl, you don't leave your, that, your girl to go be with the hoe. You sit here and be like, there's a side piece. She's a side piece. Something I just messed with. My girl get the emotional nonsense. She gets to go on dates with me. We get to build a relationship, a bond, and everything. She gets all the relationship benefits and stuff. The side piece just get the wood. That's it, the wood. That's all she gets, the wood. Women think that, oh, you're going to treat her. No, we're not going to treat. We always uphold the main. We literally want nothing to do. We try to hide the side piece for a reason. We don't try to put her in your face and embarrass you. You go out your way to say, oh, who is that girl you're talking to? What's going on? And You try to put it in your own face. If a man becomes successful, he will take care of you. If you give that man money, he's going to do the exact same thing he would have did if he had no money. He's going to take care of you. Like, it's not going to be no different. We don't make money and then so we're going to leave the girl that was with us when we was going through everything. The problem is that when the girl that go through everything, she feels that she's entitled to way more than she should feel that she's entitled to. I'm going to run him in his life. That's the problem. You feel like you should have access to every part of his life. No. He's still his own individual. And the number one thing you have to understand, if he was successful or not successful, he would still want other women. He didn't want other relationships, like a whole relationship. He want other women to sleep with. So if he gets a side piece, that doesn't mean he's disrespecting you because the only person that disrespects somebody is when a woman starts sleeping with another man, she gets disrespectful in a relationship because she can't be supportive and engaged in a relationship with two men. She always pick one. One is always more appealing to the other. When she starts sleeping with the other guy, she loses interest in the main guy. That's the funny thing. Only women do that. Men don't do that. We don't sit here and be like, okay, I got my main girl. She's not doing nothing. She take care of me. She do all these great things. And I got this girl I just sleep with. And I'm going to leave her to go be with this girl that I just know everybody sleep with. Because think about it. The girl that he sleeps with know that other people sleep with her too. He knows she's a three or four. But a woman will sit here and say, the man that's serious committed to her she will leave him to go be with a guy that's a 304 that's so-called he can't really be a 304 but i'm just saying 304 sleeping around and stuff like that and she believe i can make him stop sleeping with all the women and make me the number one option knowing that he knows you have a boyfriend and you're cheating on your boyfriend to be with him and he's like why will i throw away all my hoes to be with you and you're just one of my hosts you will leave a secure situation to be out here in the streets. We men don't do that. We don't leave a secure situation to be out here in the streets. We just get one girl and mess around with and keep her in the streets. 
but women always don't have an understanding concept of that and it's it's cool it's cool it's cool but i don't get how this woman is out here finessing us guys i won't let it go the finesse is real catfishing us Un- unacceptable unacceptable So this comment here is in reference to a date that I went on 